No, I mean, obviously, that's uh, the law, the, the legal become more intrusive every year. But uh, that's the difference in, in basically what happens. I mean, in the early years of my career, I was a publicist <coughs> for the last 30 years. I've been a PR. Most of what I'm doing is stopping things going in the media, which will be damaging to my clients. That's the main difference. But, yeah. uh, but with, with stars, they need more and more protection because the idea is they've been there for a long time. With celebrities, anything goes. Uh, and again, it breaks down. You see, if you're in the theatre, it doesn't matter. If you're in music, it doesn't matter. You know, if Cliff Richard was launching himself today and for the sake of conversation, he was gay, so what? It doesn't matter. They don't care. You only got to look at people like George Michael, what he's done, no problems. Didn't cause you any problems in terms of career success. Arms on scene selling records. Uh, because people are far more understanding, far more tolerant, far more normal minded. But in football, I mean, I looked after a major Premier star for years, who is bisexual. And if that came out, he's finished. Is he in the Premier League? He's finished, yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, because we're, we're in a position in 2009, there's a single Premier League soccer player. But, I mean, how many clubs in the Premier League? No idea. 20? 20. 20. 20. So that's 20 times 11, plus the substitutes are doing quite well here. The small thing. And there is not one of them. Who's getting? No, because if that person came out, then his career is finished. Because, because it would be a huge story. Because football's in the dark ages. He wouldn't be able to survive. How worried is that person, that footballer? How worried is well, that? Well, he's realistic. He knows his career is over the minute that comes out. I mean, there's only one footballer to my knowledge, top flight that came out, and he committed suicide. Passion. Yeah. What does that say, Mark, about um, attitudes to celebrity and stuff? Well, it, it, again, it's, it's, it's never changed. I mean, how many stars from the Gold Age of movies and beyond, you know, were never allowed to, I mean, to, to, to offer up their, their, their sexuality. And I said, that what A-list American, forget sport, which means it's rubber, the A-list American Hollywood film star who is opening the eye. I think it's a jolly to talk about Eve Serena Keller, we can talk about lots of people in our public life, but not in America. Not in America. There's still debate that surrounds Tom Cruise or whoever. But no one can go out and actually, and I think that's shocking. I think that's important. That says more about society and the investment that goes into it because they're worried that a $40 million a sort of forty million dollar actor no, is a business. That's, that's what it is. It's a business. It's run by accountants. It's like everything else. So, you know, someone like Brian Epstein comes along and falls in love with John Lennon and launches a band that he's totally obsessed with because he's devoted and dedicated and excited by. Um, but now it's accountants studying, uh, and that's how the whole business has, has become. It has changed tremendously, so everything is worked out along those lines. Um, there's much more flair, creativity, there's much more of accountable, but then I think that's the same in, in every area. Although it has changed in terms of perception. Uh, you know, a political scandal would have finished 20 years ago now. It doesn't really matter because they're all doing it. Well, you know, because you I got not. involved in Absolutely British right. yeah. politicians. Yeah, I mean, I, but you I, made I, up that story about the David Miller, Paul King, and Tony De and another ten Chelsea. You made that. Does it embellish the story? It's better possibly have made it up. I wasn't there. I can't imagine anything more dreadful than being in a bedroom with someone like David Miller. <laughs> 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 so the only person that gave the interview was Antonio De Sanchez, not Max Yeah, but you're quite good at feeding the lines, aren't you? I'm very good at feeding the lines. I should be a journalist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People, of course, have called you Max, as uh, a merchant of misery. Especially in the Daily Telegraph, being a good conservative man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think actually in the, the late 90s, the Daily Telegraph was tired of uh, John Major's rather uh, tired of Well, it, it, yes, it just uh, had to be, didn't they? But let, let me read a quote for you. This is Max Clifford. Max Clifford uh, admits he's astonished by how pervasive celebrity cultures have come. Quotes Now there are people making a living out of disgrace. <coughs> That's a strange state of affairs. Well, that not that being exactly what you were doing. I don't actually think I've ever said that. So you've been misquoted. <laughs> what was he? Don't you tell me about it? No, no. I think it was your autobiography. I don't think it was. Hey. Was it noise? I don't think so. It doesn't sound like no, no, no. terminology. Well, but anyway, <laughs> for the sake of conversation, and to try and sell my book. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. You got brought Rebecca to some notoriety. She was the one who had an affair with David Beckham. Allegedly. Yeah, really lawyers here. Um, she had a short dip then brush with celebrity. Didn't last long. I vaguely remember on a farm doing something rude with a pig. Uh, and, and that was pretty much the end of her TV career. No, you know, it was the end of her TV career. Yeah. She fell out with an agent, someone called Cheryl Barrymore, that was a very, very good agent. There's not many good ones about. She played a huge part in Michael Farrell's success. Mm -hmm. And after they split, his career came to a rapid end. And they aren't going to swim for. But with regard to uh, Rebecca, yes, yeah, she had two or three years, um, but wouldn't continue properly if she stayed with Cheryl. 